Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a very important video and a fairly massive milestone in the development of Nintendo Switch emulators. Ryu Jinx, one of the Switch emulators that I've covered quite a bit in the past few weeks, is now booting One Piece Unlimited World Red and actually loads into game rendering 3D for the very first time in this emulator. All of the footage you are currently seeing, however, is not indicative of exactly how this 3D is rendered. This footage you are currently watching is a pre-rendered cutscene that loads in this game. This actually shows up just like you are seeing it right now, which is also a first for this emulator. However, let's switch over to some actual 3D footage and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. So there we go, there is the very first 3D rendering that takes place in Ryu Jinx, this Nintendo Switch emulator. Now, while it may not be exactly what you were expecting and is in no way perfectly rendered, it is still a massively important step in any emulator to finally render 3D for the very first time. Performance wise it's actually not too bad staying in and around 20 or 25 FPS in these cutscenes and while practically nothing is rendered correctly I have definitely seen emulated games have their graphics display in a way worse fashion than this. So as I said in the start of this video this game does actually boot into game and also renders 3D graphics there but before we do that let's just take a quick look at this. <clears throat> now that that's out of the way, let's actually jump across into some gameplay footage. So here we are now in game, you can see that we're running at quite a respectable 48 FPS, however when we actually get into gameplay you can see that our performance and our graphics are around what you would expect when you consider what we were seeing in our previously rendered 3D area. Graphics wise it really doesn't get much better than this at this very moment, however performance does get quite a bit better when we look away from the town, ranging anywhere from about 14 to 21 FPS. When we pause our game you can also see that all of these menus are correctly rendered, we can zoom in and out of our map and we can navigate these options and tiles quite easily. I have also tested all of these functions and features and they all work exactly as you would expect. So that's it, that is the very first 3D rendered game in Ryu Jinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator. The developers of this emulator itself really must be massively commended by all of us out here in the emulation community, especially when you consider the speed at which they are currently developing this emulator. If you are also not aware, Ryu Jinx has also opened their very own Patreon. All donations to this Patreon will go towards the active development of this Nintendo Switch emulator. I myself supported it as soon as I heard that they had made it, since I really do believe that these guys are going to deliver us a fully functional and very good Nintendo Switch emulator in the coming weeks, months and years. If you yourself want to donate and help these guys in the development of this emulator, I will leave a link to that Patreon down in the description of this video. So to be honest, there's not really too much more I can show you in relation to this game's bootability or playability. Hopefully in the coming days, weeks and months we will get improved visuals in this game and many other games on this emulator. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and as always subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.